patience is 100% key. Because if you're not patient, you quit too soon. And that's something that we very we need to train that to not quit when it's hard and to remain patient and to keep doing the work for success to unfold. In today's topic, we're going to talk about patience. Why is this such a relevant topic right now? Because everything is going super fast around us. You want something, you order it, you receive it the same day. Yeah. Or worst case, the day after. I mean, it's crazy. Everything goes super fast. Information, uh, goods and services, etc. And so we kind of lose the ability to remain patient when things are not going our way. It feels like there is, since, since COVID happened, um, this entrepreneur fever. Like a lot of people see, oh, wow, uh, I'm done with my nine to five. What is the purpose of this life? I don't want to do that. I'm going to open my own business and I'm going to work from a beach in the Caribbean. And sounds good. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. Sounds like our life. Yeah. But <laughs> so I think it's very attractive to do. Now, what people don't understand is that it's not that easy. We want things fast because we use, that's what we have. You have a headache, take a pill. You feel not good, you feel depressed. Take Xanax. You feel like uh, you want something, order it, it comes today. Whatever you want, you can have it instantly. We forgot that transformation takes time. Building a successful business takes time. Now, we are bombarded with all those advertisements, like seven figures in seven days, uh, two million followers in two hours, beach buddy in without working out or whatever. We are, marketing is really selling us all the time, quick, fast, no effort, and cheap. Yeah. Now, there is no shortcut to success. If you want to build anything successful, you're going to have to remain patient. And so it's a skill that it's very important to develop. One of the things that is hurting us the most is that every time something is uncomfortable, every time we wait, we don't sit with our thoughts a lot. We don't look inside. We always have our phone in our pocket for entertainment. And that's the m you see people waiting on a bus stop. You don't do anything, you take your phone, you scroll. You're waiting for a cab, you scroll. You're waiting for whatever, you scroll. <laughs> and so we constantly have these immediate rewards because every time we do that, we have this release of dopamine. Right? Social media is well constructed, so that's how they keep us hooked on it. Now, when it comes to create success in your life, you go through phases where you don't have this instant gratification. No, because if you want to reach your long-term goals, you're going to have to delay gratification oh, yeah. and build discipline that's going to help you to keep consistently taking action over time to build success. Now, we need to remember that it's a long-term game. It's so easy to quit when things do are not going away. And it's kind of acceptable now, right? You, you don't like that? Quit. It's a problem with your relationship? Quit. You have a pff, quit, just quit and do something different. <laughs> well, it it just leads to mediocrity. It's just if you, if people keep quitting without being patient and without letting um, whatever project, objective, and goals unfold by themselves, without taking the steps to get there, they're gonna keep jumping from one thing to the other, and years later, feeling so empty, I mean, like I never really committed to anything in my life. Yeah, and you feel that patience is really key in this. Patience is one hundred percent key. Because if you're not patient, you quit too soon. And that's something that we very we need to train that to not quit when it's hard and to remain patient and to keep doing the work for success to unfold. And how do you train that in a world that is like, I see all these courses passing by on TV and on the internet, like uh, get rich in eight days if you buy this course and then... You yeah, know? The, the only people who are getting <laughs> rich with those courses are the people who create the course and sell it to other people who are like, ah... I cannot do anything with that. Now, <laughs> I, I'm sure there are things that are actually working. I'm not saying that everything is bad, but we are promised to have everything fast. And yeah. I think this we need to demystify that and realize before we start anything we want, It once again, take this example of, of changing how you look with your body. It doesn't happen in one week going to the gym. It's going to happen in months or years in your nutrition, etc. I mean, this is a long-term game again. Okay, and I, I can see being patient, moving towards a healthy lifestyle or something, because that's kind of uh, tangible. But if you, or no, I don't know if tangible is the right word, but if you're building a business and you have an idea and you start working on it, how long do you stay patient until you say, I need to quit because it was not working or it's not what people are looking for or, you know, w what is this balance between, no, keep going and be patient and it's going to come in the end or saying, no, I need to switch. It was not the right idea. Wait, sometimes quitting is an option. I hate to say that. <laughs> My ego doesn't want to say that. And so I never actually say that. I just say, 
I changed my mind. I'm making a new decision. <laughs> so <laughs> you adapt your your direction, right? No, there were. I think the most important is have set in your calendar some reality check, just to make sure that you face reality the way it is, and then you make an, a decision every time to know. Okay, I'm a do I keep pursuing that goal or do I stop? And I think the moment when we need to stop is when the cost we're paying is not compensating the reward we're going to get later. If I keep working so hard in my in my startup and I am not being there for my kids, I am not being there for my partner, I am drifting apart from my friends and you realize I'm, I don't take care of my health anymore. I mean, y you start adding all the cost of you being obsessed with reaching that goal and actually that maybe that maybe it's not worth it and i think it's just being honest with yourself i, I cannot tell to to someone oh this is when you need to stop there is not a fine line and and myself i've been in this position a few times thinking like should i stop or should i keep pushing i never regretted keeping pushing the best is to really feel like if i stop today would i regret not pushing through i i think what you said what is really important like not letting your emotions come in and say like Okay, it doesn't work. I, I'm gonna quit. But really, putting this deadline to say every end of the quarter, I'm gonna reevaluate and say, okay, where am I? What is the cost for what I'm paying right now? Because I can imagine that if you build a startup or something, that that the first phase is gonna be at cost as at other things, and yeah. this is okay. But at one moment, it's not gonna be okay anymore. And finding this balance, but not letting your emotions interfere with this. Yeah. What I think also people tend to quit when they're pursuing something that was not really theirs. Mm. So it we can get so quickly attracted by making quick money. <laughs> this is a human bias, <laughs> right? We see all those, those, exactly what you said, those courses and stuff, the promise of a, of a lot of gold and then like, oh, I'm going to do that. Why do you want to do that? To get rich? Good luck. Not going to work. Mm. I mean, you're not going to be able to go through the hardship and through the, the challenges that comes with building success. So I think it's about going back first to your goal and looking at it like am I willing to struggle to get there so how do we do that like being patient in this society where everything goes quick fast cheap easy I think one of the first piece is to increase your awareness to know where you are where you want to go and to understand that transformation takes time that building something su successful takes time right? being very aware before you even start understanding what it's going to take we we tend to live in this unicorn land and say, hey, everything's going to come easy to me with ease and flow. And <clears throat> I wish it comes with ease and flow, and sometimes it does, but let's face the reality, sometimes also it's a bit more difficult. And that's fine. That's part of that's part of the journey. So increasing your awareness. Second is to practice delaying gratification. How do you do that? To me, is remembering your goals. Remembering that this is what I want, and this is going to give me so much joy and fulfillment when I'm going to get there and I know that no I just need to do one step and another step and another step to get to that point now if the journey of creating you your success of creating what you want is not satisfying you in any point then maybe you're pursuing the wrong stuff because both the destination and the journey matters to use the metaphor if you don't at all enjoy the journey you pursuing the wrong thing so to use a metaphor Imagine that you want to climb a mountain. How long does it take to prepare, to choose which mountain you're going to go, your gears, the guide, the support team, then figure out the way, the preparation, compared to how long are you going to stay on the top of the mountain? You're going to stay on top a few minutes. Looking at the view, oh, well, great, nice. But Next. the <laughs> whole preparation, that's the big chunk of time. And so if you absolutely don't like the preparation, the creation of your goal, but you just look for the realization itself, but well, you you're pursuing the wrong stuff. You're gonna you get you have to enjoy the process of creation as much as the goal itself. So that's a good reality check to do. And that's gonna help to stay patient and to reach your goals and achieve success. Exactly. So remember your goals. This is this is the other thing. Dive deep again into why do we want to do that? Why is that important for you? Why does that matter? Right, to reconnect your goals because sometimes we have a goal they are so far there that we kind of disconnect ourselves from them and like we in the moment like uh it's difficult right now i have no gratification i have no pleasure like oh wait a second let me zoom out and the last one would be uh take deep breath <laughs> just breathe <laughs> center yourself ground yourself back again get out of your head and and remember to enjoy the process